One of the droid builders who's working on a B2 EMO droid reached out to me because they wanted to set up the programming for the head tilting mechanism to have a weighted value based off of the lift condition of the head because as the head was lowered down and tilted it would collide with the body so after playing around with the vars and curves a little bit we figured out a solution and i'm going to show the final outcome final result of the programming and then i'll go into the details of how we accomplished this setup So to achieve this head tilting mixed with the head lifting, we're going to be using three different concepts of ethos programming. First, we'll use a curve, and then we're also going to be using delta mixing, which makes these two servos work together to accomplish not just the X tilt, which is the left and right, but also the Y tilt, which is the up and down tilt or forward and back tilt of the head. We're, lastly, we'll be using a virtual channel to apply that tilt weight into the, into the channels for the delta mixing. So first off, I'm gonna start with a new model. So I'm gonna to go to model setup, model select, and create a new model. I'm going to choose the other type model, which is just a basic model template with no mixes pre-programmed. And I'll just name it B2 EMO. So under the model setup mixes, you'll see there's no mixes currently assigned. First thing I'm going to go ahead and do is get my receiver bound up. So in this video, I'll be using a TDR18 receiver and I have my two servos plugged in with the left servo in channel one, the right servo in channel two, and then this is the head lift servo. So you can see how all three interact with each other. So I'll go into RF system, expand the internal module, change it to TD mode, turn it on, and I'm going to hit register. Register. Now, while I hold the button down, I'm going to power it on. And I'll click on register. register and the registration's okay. Next, I'll bind it into RX1. So click Telemetry on lost. RX1. Bind. And then power it up and bind the TDR. Telemetry again. recovered. So currently, as I move the sticks, nothing's happening with the servos because I don't have any mixes set up. So I'm going to set up a few basic mixes just to start with. Under the mixes, I'll add a new mix, which is a free mix. I'll call this one Head Tilt X. For the source, I'll use the aileron stick. And by moving the stick, it'll register it. You can also just choose analogs aileron. Last thing I'm gonna do here is change the channel count to two. And I'm gonna make output one to channel one. I'm gonna just select no to copy the name here. I'm going to come back to that later and change the name later. And then second output will go on to channel two. And again, I'm going to say no to assign the name. So now you can see as I move my aileron stick left, 
we'll tilt the head to the left, right, we'll tilt the head to the right. Next, I'm going to back out and add another free mix to the last position. This one I'll call head tilt Y. For this one, my source is going to be the elevator stick. So again, I'll move the elevator stick to choose analog elevator. And just like with the X head tilt, I'm going to set this to two channels. First one will go to channel one. I'll say no. And second one will go to channel two. And I'll say no. Now, again, as I move my stick, you'll see the two are working somewhat opposite to each other which is not what I want here for the Y condition. So I'm going to reverse channel two. And now as I pull down on the elevator stick, you can see it pulls, it will pull the head to look down. And as I push up, it will pull the head to look up. So this is the Delta mixing that we've just created. So elevator, an aileron for the left and right tilt and now the up and down tilt. I'll back out. I'm going to add another free mix here. Last position. On this one it will be named head lift for the source. I'm going to use the throttle stick and for all the programming here I'm going to use the throttle stick as the condition for lifting the head up and down. Now if you're using a slider just change every instance of throttle to whatever slider or potentiometer you might be using in such case. For this one, it only needs one channel, and I'll output this to channel three. I'll go ahead and copy the name to this mix so that it's there. And you can see as I raise the throttle, it will lift the head up, and as I pull the throttle down, it'll pull the head down. Now this is not tilting the head up and down, it's physically lifting the head up and down. And then the last mix that I'm gonna create for now is another free mix and this one doesn't have anything to do with the tilt but it's the pan of the head and this builder had also asked how to slow the pan down for the head mechanism so I'll show how to do this so I'll name it head pan for the source it'll be on the rudder and then I'll assign the output to channel four, copy the name to that mix. So you can see here that it's pretty fast on the head pan. So this builder wanted to slow down the action of the head pan. So I'll add a new action. Action type will be slow and I'll just dial this up to one second up and one second down. So now you can see that that slows down and smooths out the action of the head panning. So I'll back out and now I'll show that Right now, the head tilt weight has no relation to the lift of the head. But what we're trying to accomplish is that when the head is lifted, you have the maximum weight. And when the head is lowered, 
you have either no movement or less weight so that there's no collision with the body of the of the droid so the first thing I'll do next is I'll scroll over to curves I'm going to add a new curve I'll call this tilt weight the type will be custom it's going to be a two-point curve for the first point I'm going to click on the value I'm going to click these three dots and choose maximum you can also just scroll it up to 100 percent the last thing I'm going to do here is on the offset I'll click on it and then I'll long click on it choose use a source then I'll click on this three dashes with drop down and I'm going to assign this to the throttle stick and what that'll do is now the throttle stick is going to move that curve up and down. Next, we're going to use that curve and assign it into a virtual channel. So I'll scroll back over to the mixes. I'm going to add another new mix, free mix, and the last position. And I'm going to name this one tilt weight as well. For the source, I'm going to use the throttle stick. I'm going to add a new action. It, action type will be curve and I'm going to select that tilt weight curve. Next, I need to move that curve up above the weight so I'll click on the curve click on move and then click the little up button which moves it up up above the before the weight so next I'm going to change the weight to 75 percent and this is going to act as the maximum weight that the delta mixing servos will have or the tilt servos will have when the head is fully lifted so you can maybe leave it at 100 and then just reduce it if you need to if there's still any collision with the body but I'm just showing how to adjust this in advance you could also set it to 75% and increase that value up to the amount that there's no collision so on the weight I'll click on that and click edit and I'll reduce the 100 down to 75. Last, I'm going to assign this into a, a virtual channel. So I'll click on the first output and I'm going to scroll up to channel 64 and assign it and copy the name. Once you've done this, you should see that with the throttle all the way down, the channel and the mix will show 0%. As you raise the throttle up, it'll max out at 75%. So now we're going to use this virtual channel as the source of the weight for our X and Y tilt channels. So I'll back out. So I'll click on Head Tilt X and edit it. And under the actions weight, I'll click on that and edit it. And now where it says weight rates 100%, I'm going to long, I'm going to click on it and long click on it and choose use a source. Then I'll click on this drop down, and I'm going to choose channels, channel 64 tilt weight. So now you can see that as the throttle is completely down, this channel has no weight. And as I raise the throttle up, it gives up to 75% weight on that channel. And the servos now have 75% weight on the X and Y. And as I lower the throttle, there's less throw available for those channels.
for the tilt. So now I'm going to apply this on the Y head tilt as well. I'll edit head tilt Y, edit the weight, click on the weight and long click on it, choosing use a source, click on that drop down and set it to channels, channel 64. And again, you'll see with the throttle down, there's no weight. As I raise the throttle up, it increases the weight of the Y channel head tilt. So that's pretty much it. You're now done. But let's say that even at the lowest throttle point, you still want there to be a little bit of tilt. So I'm going to back out and show you how you can still add in just a little bit of extra tilt at the lowest weight condition or lowest throttle position. So on the tilt weight mix, you can edit this. And now you're going to add another action here. It'll be action of type offset. And I'm just going to say 10%, just as an example. Now, if you still want to keep your maximum weight to be 75%, you'll need to reduce the 75 down by however much offset you've, you've dialed in. So you can see now with 65% weight and 10% offset, my minimum with the throttle all the way down is going to still give 10% weight. And as I raise that throttle stick up, it'll still go up to the maximum of 75%. And what that allows you to do is even in the lowest position here, you'll still have a slight amount of tilt tied to that will be applied into those two channels. And then as you raise the throttle stick, you can tilt the head more. So as the head lifts up, you get more tilt and as it lowers down and this is again just to avoid any kind of collision or impact or rubbing from the head and this can be useful for any kind of puppeteering or robotics work where you have a tilting head along with a head that can raise up and down so one last thing i'm going to do here is name my channel outputs so I'll go into the model setup and go to the outputs and for channel one and channel two, you'll see they don't have any name or you may have assigned the head tilt X or head tilt Y to those two channels by mistake. But in any case, I'm going to click on channel one and for channel one, I'll name this head tilt L because this is my left servo. And then for channel two, I'll name this one head tilt R since this is my right servo. And now you'll have all of your channels outputs named logically.